The catastrophic tsunami rising out of the Pacific, a massive wall of water that rose as high as 30 feet, swallowing up parts of Japan. Shrine gates that were swept away by the 2011 tsunami. Tsunamis are nature's giants, powerful and unforgiving. When they retreat, they leave behind more than just memories of their wrath. Imagine discovering not just seashells or driftwood, but ancient city ruins and a rowing boat from halfway around the world. Prepare to be amazed by the unusual and unexpected. Here are the 20 strangest things discovered after tsunamis. Number 20. 60-Year-Old Man In the chaos of a tsunami, survival often hinges on a blend of quick thinking and sheer luck. This was precisely the case for 60-year-old Hiramitsu Shinkawa, whose incredible survival story begins with the tragic 2011 tsunami in Japan. As waves threatened his home, Hiramitsu made a split-second decision to climb onto his roof, hoping it would be enough to save him. The water surged beneath, ripping his house from its foundations and turning his roof into a makeshift raft. Adrift in the Pacific Ocean, miles from any land, Hiramitsu floated on his impromptu lifeboat, the situation growing more desperate by the minute. With his house and all familiar landmarks swept away, the likelihood of returning to dry land seemed to vanish with each passing wave. But fate wasn't done with Hiramitsu yet. Two days into his ordeal, and 10 miles from the coast, hope appeared in the form of a Japanese self-defense force destroyer on its way to assist in relief efforts. Spotting Hiramitsu waving a flag, the crew quickly rescued him. On board, he was given food and water, and in a poignant moment of relief and gratitude, he burst into tears. Despite his harrowing experience, medics found Hiramitsu in good physical condition, aided by the unusually calm weather and seas during his time adrift. Returning to his hometown as soon as possible, Hiramitsu's resilience shone through. Not content just to have survived, he immediately began helping others rebuild their lives. Number 19. Japanese Shrine Imagine walking along a serene beach in Oregon, sand beneath your toes, when you stumble upon a massive piece of intricately carved redwood. This isn't just any beachcombing find, it's a kasagi a part of a tori, which are traditional Japanese gates most commonly found at the entrance of Shinto shrines. This remarkable piece had traveled over 5,000 miles across the Pacific Ocean. But how did it end up so far from home? In March 2013, exactly two years after a devastating tsunami struck Japan, this kasagi appeared on American shores. Originating from North Japan, where such structures are a common sight, the kasagi was part of a larger sacred building devastated by the tsunami. This wasn't just a fluke of ocean currents, it was a poignant reminder of the natural disaster's vast reach and power. Tsunamis are known for their destructive force, but they also possess an incredible ability to transport objects across oceans. In this case, the Kasagi's journey didn't end on the beach in Oregon. Recognizing its significance, the community arranged for the Kasagi to be sent back to Japan, to the very town it had once adorned. This gesture offered a small yet profound piece of solace to a community still grappling with the loss and devastation wrought by the tsunami. Number 18. Hundreds of Millions of Yen In the wake of the devastating tsunami that struck Japan, an incredible tale of lost fortunes and extraordinary honesty unfolded. Try to picture hundreds of dented safes, brimming with hundreds of millions of yen washing up onto the shores. These weren't just boxes of old papers or forgotten belongings. They were containers filled with the savings of countless individuals and families. Savings often kept at home in what is locally referred to as tansu yokin, or wardrobe savings, a common practice in Japan where people stash away currency in safes within their homes. The magnitude of the discovery was staggering. It wasn't just about the substantial amount of money, it was also a powerful testament to the character and integrity of the Japanese people. In a time when chaos could have easily taken over, those who found these safes did something remarkable. They turned them into local authorities. One police station even had to dedicate an entire warehouse to store these recovered treasures. But returning this vast amount of money to its rightful owners proved to be a complex task. For someone to claim the money, they had to provide undeniable proof of ownership, which often meant opening the safe to reveal personal documents bearing their name. 
three years post-tsunami, only a fraction of these safes had been successfully returned to their owners. The remaining unclaimed funds were then directed by the government towards reconstruction efforts. Number 17. Millions in Cocaine While tsunamis often leave a trail of devastation, they can also bring unexpected and startling discoveries to shore. One such incredible find occurred in 2013 along the beaches of Yokosuka, Japan, where locals stumbled upon not seashells or driftwood, but four backpacks packed with cocaine. The contents were estimated to be worth a staggering $48 million, containing a total of 80 kilograms of cocaine. This find not only shocked the finders, but also marked the largest drug seizure in Japan's history at the time. How does a backpack full of cocaine end up on a Japanese beach? While we can't definitively prove that a tidal wave carried these illicit goods, the timing and the nature of items washed up from the 2011 tsunami suggest it's not an impossible scenario. Items from the catastrophic event continued to appear on distant shores years later. The backstory involves someone placing these products into backpacks, which then somehow ended up in the ocean. Losing such a high-value load would certainly cause major issues for the drug runners involved, costing them millions in lost revenue. No doubt the individuals responsible were in hot water over this loss. Yet, there's a silver lining here. The cocaine, rather than fueling illegal activities, ended up in the hands of law enforcement. Number 16. Awful Opa In the realm of the ocean's deep, the opa or moonfish remains one of the most elusive yet fascinating creatures. Unlike the more famous celebrities of the sea, the opa rarely makes an appearance near the shore. However, in October 2010, the residents of San Diego witnessed an unusual spectacle. A massive opa washed up along the coast, creating a stir among locals and marine biologists alike. This giant of the deep, weighing 100 pounds and as big around as a manhole cover, presented a rare opportunity for onlookers and experts to get an up-close look at this mysterious fish. The opa, also known by names like kingfish and even sunfish, is renowned not just for its size, but for its striking appearance, which can seem almost otherworldly. Its bright, silvery body and red fins stand out dramatically, which led local surfer Scott Williams to remark that it looked like it was from another planet. What makes the opa especially intriguing is its warm-blooded nature, a rare trait among fish. This allows the opa to maintain a body temperature that's warmer than the surrounding water, enabling it to inhabit the chilly depths of the ocean. Typically found in the cold, deep waters, the opa uses its warmth to enhance its metabolic and physical abilities, making it a swift and agile hunter. Number 15. Mysterious Mass when a colossal mysterious mass washed ashore in Indonesia, it sparked wild speculation and drew curious onlookers from far and wide. The mass, as large as a shipping container, first appeared to be something out of a deep-sea horror story. Rumors swirled that it was the corpse of an enormous squid, igniting imaginations and fears about what monsters the ocean depths might hold. However, the truth behind this enigmatic find was both less fantastical and more fascinating. After detailed examination by experts, it was revealed not to be a squid, but a sperm whale. The Indonesia's Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries shed light on why the whale appeared so alien and distorted. They explained that in the gruesome process of decomposition, a sperm whale's intestines can protrude through the bottom of the throat. This part of the whale is striped, resembling a pumpkin, and curves outward presenting a sight that is as bizarre as it is unsettling. Number 14. Barred Knife Jaw Have you ever heard of a fish taking a 5,000-mile journey across the Pacific? Well, the Barred Knife Jaw, a striking black and white striped fish native to the Northwest Pacific, particularly around Japan, did just that, thanks to a tsunami. In the aftermath of the devastating 2011 tsunami, which propelled millions of tons of debris across oceans, these resilient fish found themselves swimming in the waters of Monterey Bay, California. This wasn't just a rare occurrence, it was a journey into uncharted waters, quite literally. Several years after the tsunami, a shoal of barred knife jaws was discovered in California. 
The sighting was not just surprising because of the distance they traveled, but also because it marked a rare biological invasion facilitated by natural disasters rather than human activity. A 2017 report highlighted that at least 289 different species made this transoceanic journey from Japan to the US, carried by debris and strong ocean currents. Number 13, Doritos. In November 2006, the beaches of North Carolina's Outer Banks witnessed an unusual delivery, not from Santa, but from the sea. Imagine strolling along the beach and stumbling upon containers filled with bags of Doritos. This wasn't a beach party planned by the locals, but the result of a ship traveling to Central America losing four containers to the ocean. One of these containers, the size of a semi-tractor trailer, made its way to the shores of Hatteras Island, bringing with it a salty surprise. The container spilled hundreds of bags of Doritos across the sand. Despite some cases being wet, most bags were still sealed and in remarkably good shape. The assortment included flavors like nacho cheese, cool ranch, and spicy nacho. It was a snack lover's dream turned reality, and the locals of Hatteras Island didn't hold back their joy. They indulged in this unexpected feast, turning the beach into a spontaneous picnic spot. When the National Park Service got wind of the shipwrecked container, they arrived at the scene to find multiple bags of chips still inside. One can only wonder if they were tempted to join in on the snacking like everyone else. Number 12. Rowing Boat from Japan In an extraordinary journey across the Pacific, a simple rowing boat, known as the Kamomi, became a symbol of resilience and international camaraderie following the devastating Japanese mega-tsunami of 2011. Two years after the tsunami, in 2013, this small skiff was discovered washed up on the shores of Crescent City, California, its journey spanning thousands of miles from Japan. The Kamomi belonged to a high school in Rikuzentakata, a city that was tragically hit hard by the tsunami, resulting in the destruction of the school and much of the city. This boat, covered in barnacles and carrying the weight of its origins, caught the attention of the local Del Norte High School students. In a touching display of solidarity, these students took it upon themselves to clean and restore the boat. Their efforts went beyond just refurbishing a vessel. They reached out to Japanese officials to arrange for the Kamome's return to its home. By the time the Kamome returned to Rikuzentakata, the local school had been rebuilt. Number 11. Mysterious Blob on the serene coast of New Zealand's South Island lies the small town of Tamuka, a place where life usually moves at a leisurely pace. But everything changed on October 28, 2009, when the unexpected arrival of a mysterious blob on Tamuka Beach stirred the quiet community. The strange object captured the attention of locals and scientists alike, sparking theories of extraterrestrial visitors. The finder, resident Rose Fraser, was taken aback by the sight. She told Fairfax NZ News that she thought it was an alien. The blob, she described, featured what looked like big ribs coming out of it, which could have been mistaken for tentacles. The initial shock and mystique of the find sent ripples through the town as people speculated about its origins. However, the truth behind the mysterious blob was as fascinating as any alien theory. Scientists eventually identified the mass, not as a creature from another world, but as something equally rare to find on a beach, the top of a sperm whale's head. The lingering question remained, what happened to the rest of the whale? Number 10. Tsunami Detection Buoy Tsunamis are among the most destructive natural events on Earth, leading to immense efforts to predict their occurrence. Predicting a tsunami is challenging because there is often only a short window of a few minutes between the triggering earthquake and the tsunami hitting the coast. Despite this, even a few seconds of warning is invaluable. To improve preparedness, a network of buoys is deployed in areas prone to tsunamis. These buoys monitor changes in wave height, and if an unusual lift is detected, they trigger a tsunami warning, giving people crucial time to prepare. An interesting incident occurred in January 2018 along the Oregon coast. Just hours before a tsunami warning was issued, a hiker walking north of Yachats stumbled upon a six-foot-wide tsunami detection buoy on the beach. Normally, these buoys are securely anchored to the ocean floor, hundreds of miles offshore, and it requires significant force to dislodge them. 
This buoy, powered by solar energy, had actually broken free several months earlier. Fortunately, the National Weather Service, which manages these buoys, was aware of its detachment and confirmed that the buoy's loss did not affect their wave monitoring capabilities. Number 9. The Great Lego Spill On February 13, 1997, the container ship Tokyo Express faced a formidable adversary off the coast of Cornwall, United Kingdom. A massive tidal wave, described by its captain as a once-in-a-hundred-year phenomenon, fiercely rocked the vessel, causing it to lose 61 containers into the churning sea. Among these containers, one held a cargo particularly fascinating and colorful, 4.8 million LEGO toys. Since that tumultuous day, the coasts of Cornwall, Ireland, and Devon have become unintended recipients of these plastic treasures. These LEGO pieces weren't just any toys. They carried a nautical theme, almost as if they were destined for a sea adventure. The irony? Many of these pieces included 418 pairs of diver flippers, 26,000 life preservers, 13,000 spear guns in red or yellow, and 4,200 black octopuses. In the aftermath, volunteers in Cornwall embarked on a massive beachcombing effort, collecting 6 million pieces of LEGO in a single day. An issue of Beachcombers Alert later that year provided a detailed breakdown of these whimsical yet poignant relics of the deep. Number 8. A Mosque In the aftermath of a tsunami, aerial images often reveal a landscape transformed into desolation. Yet, amidst this bleak panorama, some structures not only endure, but stand defiantly. Such was the case in 2004 in Banda Aceh, Indonesia when a ferocious tidal wave devastated the region, wiping away nearly everything in its path, the town's mosque remarkably remained intact, virtually unscathed. This mosque wasn't just a building that survived, it was a sanctuary for hundreds of locals who found refuge within its walls during the tsunami, and all emerged unharmed. The survival of the mosque prompted many to whisper of divine intervention, with one local passionately attributing the miracle to Allah, who created the wave and saved the mosque. But aside from spiritual interpretations, there are tangible reasons why this mosque withstood the tsunami's brutal force. Constructed in 1881 by Dutch colonists, this mosque was built using only the finest materials available at the time. Over the years, any maintenance or restoration was funded by charities and benefactors who prioritized the structure's integrity over cutting costs. This meant that no corners were cut, no substandard materials used, ensuring the mosque was not only the most robust, but also the most stable building in the area. Number 7. Oarfish Walking along the coast after a massive tsunami, you might stumble upon something utterly unexpected amidst the debris. The oar fish, often dubbed the sea serpent, due to its incredibly elongated body and shimmering silver scales. This deep sea dweller, which typically inhabits depths of over 2,000 feet, is a rare visitor to surface waters, let alone coastal shores. However, tsunamis have occasionally propelled these mysterious creatures onto beaches, sparking awe and intrigue. One of the most remarkable instances occurred after the 2011 tsunami in Japan some measuring up to 13 feet long were discovered on beaches. Traditionally, in Japanese folklore, the oarfish is known as the messenger from the sea god's palace, believed to surface and beach themselves as omens of impending earthquakes and tsunamis. But why do these deep-sea mysteries end up on our shores after such catastrophic events? Scientists speculate that the intense underwater currents and shifts in tectonic plates associated with tsunamis might disrupt the deep-sea habitats of the oarfish, forcing them upward. It's also possible that the seismic activity messes with their highly sensitive lateral lines, systems used for detecting movement and vibration in the water, which disorients them and leads to their stranding. The appearance of oarfish after tsunamis presents a unique opportunity for research, giving scientists brief glimpses into the lives of one of the ocean's most elusive creatures. Number 6. Headless Creature in the quiet coastal stretch of Canada's Newfoundland, in the Bay of Islands, locals stumbled upon a discovery as baffling as it was startling. Imagine walking along the shore and coming across a 15-foot-long creature, headless, with 10 feet of its length tapering into a mysterious tail. This isn't a scene from a horror movie, but a real-life puzzle that confounded even the most seasoned fishermen in the area. 
Basil Park of McIvers, a lifelong resident, expressed his astonishment to the press, noting that even those who had spent their entire lives fishing in these waters couldn't identify the bizarre find. This peculiar incident occurred back in February 2010, and to this day, it leaves more questions than answers. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. After a tsunami struck a Japanese beach in 2011, an astonishing sight awaited as the mighty waves receded back into the sea. What emerged on the sandy shores appeared to be a multitude of gold rings glinting under the sun. Now, it's not entirely uncommon for objects to be lost at sea, jewelry included. However, the sheer quantity of what seems like gold rings surfacing all at once is both unprecedented and extraordinary. This raises numerous questions. Are these indeed valuable rings washed ashore by natural forces or merely trinkets caught up in the ocean's powerful grasp? Could this discovery be linked to a sunken treasure? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 5. Ancient city tsunamis, often viewed solely as agents of destruction, occasionally peel back the layers of time to reveal buried treasures from our past. This was dramatically showcased in December 2004, when a powerful tsunami struck the coast near Mahabalipuram, India. Known for its historic temples right at the beachfront, this area held secrets that had eluded researchers for years. Before the tsunami, archaeologists had been investigating potential sites near Mahabalipuram suspecting the presence of ancient structures. Their theories were suddenly confirmed when the tsunami's forces caused the coastline to recede, unveiling the remnants of what appeared to be a bustling ancient city, thought to be around 1,200 years old. Among the discoveries were stone structures, some standing six feet tall, believed to be the foundations of a port complex linked to the famous temple nearby. This temple, part of a larger complex, might have succumbed to the sea due to an earthquake or tsunami centuries before. Remarkably, engravings still visible on these structures match those found on other historical artifacts in the region. Additionally, the tsunami stripped away sand that had long concealed a monument featuring a large elephant, another significant piece of the historical puzzle suggesting the cultural richness of this ancient city. Number 4. A Dock in the wake of the catastrophic tsunami that hit Japan in 2011, the sheer scale of oceanic drift became starkly evident. One of the most astonishing examples of this drift was the journey of a full-on dock, not just any dock, but a massive 20-meter-long structure made of concrete and metal. Originally stationed in Japan, this dock embarked on an unexpected trans-Pacific voyage, ending up off the coast of Portland, Oregon. Imagine this, a structure longer than most ships you've seen up close, designed to be a stable part of Japan's maritime infrastructure suddenly turned into a floating nomad by the tsunami's formidable power. And here's the kicker. It didn't wash up in the United States until 2012, nearly a year after the tsunami. This wasn't just a quick hop across the pond. This was a year-long, unplanned odyssey across the entire Pacific Ocean. But how did anyone even know this dock was from Japan? It bore distinctive markings that pinpointed its origin to Shibata. Number 3. Japanese ghost ship. In the vast expanse of the Pacific, a curious and haunting sight emerged, capturing the attention of maritime observers and the imagination of those who heard its tale. This was the story of the Japanese fishing boat, Rio Unmaru, which became known as the Ghost Ship. Swept away by the devastating tsunami that struck Japan in March 2011, this vessel drifted ghostly and unmanned across thousands of miles of ocean. Originally moored in Aomori Prefecture, Honshu, the Ryu Unmaru was deemed too old for operation and was up for sale. However, fate had a different plan. The tsunami's fierce waters broke its moorings, setting it on an unintended voyage across the Pacific. For over a year, the boat sailed silently, its presence unknown by a Royal Canadian Air Force CP-140 Aurora aircraft on March 20th. 2011. The discovery sparked sensational news due to the sheer unexpectedness of its journey and the eerie absence of any crew. On April 4th, the U.S. Coast Guard intervened by dropping a tracking buoy aboard the vessel as it continued to drift. After drifting another 170 nautical miles southwest of Sitka, Alaska, 
The U.S. Coast Guard cutter Anacapa finally assessed the ship's condition. The next day, it was determined that to avoid the ghost ship becoming a navigation hazard or running aground, it had to be sunk. Number 2. Friendly Floaties In 1992, the shores of Alaska turned into an unexpected playground when dozens of rubber ducks began appearing on the beaches. These weren't ordinary beach toys left behind by vacationers, but were part of a cargo lost at sea earlier that year. A container ship, en route from Hong Kong to the United States, was carrying crates from the first year's Inkier toy company. Caught in a massive storm in the eastern Pacific Ocean, one of the crates, holding 28,000 plastic rubber ducks and assorted toys, was swept overboard. Fast forward nearly 25 years, and these colorful friendly floaties have made appearances on shores across the globe, from the icy expanses of the Arctic, where they've been found frozen in ice, to the sunny beaches of South America, Alaska, Hawaii, the Pacific Northwest, Newfoundland, Scotland, and Australia, these ducks have had quite the journey. Some have traveled over 17,000 miles, becoming not just beachside curiosities, but also valuable scientific tools. Researchers have seized the opportunity presented by these globe-trotting toys to enhance our understanding of ocean currents. Each duck's landing spot provides data that helps map the currents with greater accuracy than ever before. Number 1. Montauk Monster in July 2008, the shores of eastern Long Island became the final resting place for one of the Internet's most sensational mysteries, the Montauk Monster. Discovered on the sands of Ditch Plains Beach, this bizarre carcass quickly captured the public's imagination and frenzy. The creature appeared ferocious with its hairless body and beak-like structure, which led to wild speculations about its origins ranging from an escaped experiment to a mythical sea monster. The Montauk monster was indeed dead on arrival, but its legacy was anything but. The creature's image went viral, sparking debates and discussions across various platforms. It became such a phenomenon that it was even immortalized in a painting by American artist Dan Lacey, a New York native known for his unique and often surreal works. Theories about the Montauk monster's origins ranged from the plausible to the outlandish. Some suggested it was a decomposed raccoon, while others thought it might be a turtle without its shell. However, no theory could be confirmed, as the carcass was whisked away and reportedly disposed of before any scientific examination could take place. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.